Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And it's been about two weeks since my last confession. Um, I just wanted to say that I've been uh, secretly shrinking Dylan Sprayberry's shirts so he thinks he's getting buffer, but he's not. He's not at all. <laughs> he thinks he's so strong. Yeah, he does. So I'm forgiven then. Oh, yeah, have a good day. <clears throat> I'm out. Oh good, a normal music box that's not scary at all. It's just a normal music box that to me is not frightening. Ah! It's got, it's creepy is what happened. You see? Hello and welcome to the Teen Wolf After After Show, the only show that follows in the great storied tradition of Shakespearean theater. Verily, I am Morgan Evans, and forsooth, what light through yonder window breaks. How about that for acting, Dad? Well, Teen Wolf wrapped up yet another wonderful season tonight, and it looks like we're finding out where the Dread Doctors came from. And that's very cool. Hey, you know what else is cool? The breaking news. Breaking news, this just in. It's foe versus foe as Labette, that Frenchy beast, faces down with the last of those dreadful doctors. Marcel, if this is what immortality looks like, I think you might have been misled. For you. <gasps> All for you. Why did you do with it, Marcel? Where is the bike? The Argents. The. Yikes! Someone needs to use moisturizer. Well, that's the news. Bye bye. Acting is hard, and they don't always give you everything you need on the page, so the cast is sometimes forced to come up with their own character backstories. To hear what some of them are, please keep watching. You still watching? Okay, good. Keep watching just a little bit longer, and it'll happen now. I always thought that Parrish was in musical theater. You guys actually probably don't know this, but Mason has the Benjamin Button disease. He was a train hopper. He went through struggles, man. He would take candies from stores, apples. He was almost like an Aladdin type. She is actually a time-traveling alien. I think the real reason she hangs out is to hang out and make out with a bunch of hunks. His parents forced him to carve piano keys out of uh, the ivory that they smuggled from Africa. I can tell you how Malia and Shelly are sim similar. Um, Malia, as you know, was a coyote, so she could piss anywhere. And Shelly, I guess, thought she was a coyote at one point in her life and almost got arrested for peeing in public. Stay tuned. And now it's time for the part of the show where I sit down with the cast of Teen Wolf and remind them to go to the dermatologist. Hey, Dylan, just remember, Go to the dermatologist at some point, okay? Thanks, bud. Let's get it checked out. All right, um, so uh, let's get right into it. Um, this season's been amazing. Uh, do you have any favorite <laughs> memories? Uh, did you, is that yours? Yeah. Could I have, could I have a little? No. Okay. Um, how do you get into character? Uh, can I pass? Sure, yeah, you can pass on any of these, literally. So, um, okay. uh, do you ever do any fun pranks on set? Pass. Okay. Um, what's it like to kiss Shelly? Pass. Okay. So the desert wolf seemed real mean, right? Uh, pass. Okay. Um, actually, uh, how about some Twitter questions? Hard pass. Okay. Um, this is, to this is absolutely fine, uh, cause actually I have, uh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to pitch you some movies, uh, that I think you'd be great in. Uh, this one that you wrote or? Yeah, please producing? don't pass, please. Not okay. on this one? Sure. Okay. This one's about a little guy, all right, who falls in love with an elderly woman who turns out to be like a man in, 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 old, in old lady makeup. A little guy, like he's like a, like a little, per, like, a, like a kid? Is he like six? Is no, he's like, kid? A, like, you know, like a little guy. Uh, okay. 
Oh, we can just do it. You want to hear another one? Yeah, sure. Okay, if you have okay. more, sure. Um, so this one's about a little guy who uh, tries to catch a robber only to find out, guess what? He's the robber. None of this is sounding great well, for me. Man, I totally understand. Um, so this one's about a little guy who gets stuck in space and then he finds out space has been his home all along. It's called Space Has Been His Home All Along. Why does the little guy thing, why do you keep saying that? Oh, that's what you don't, you don't like that part. So this one's about a normal sized man who goes to teach at a school in the inner city and then ends up learning from the kids. The kids teach him. It Dylan? just seems that the only constant is the, this little guy. Okay, all right, I won't do that part anymore, okay? Okay, well yeah. So I'll just pitch it to you and just, uh, I'll just say normal guy, okay? Why don't I give you my email? Because uh -huh. the one with the grandma sounded, sounded not bad. Sounded so, pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll do some questions. The movie You wanna go back to idea. some questions? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so what's your favorite thing to eat on set? Ooh, pass. Will you do me a favor? What is it? Um, we've just been having everybody do this. It's really fun. If you would, you just take like a normal little bag and then you just, do you mind just taking a little cotton swab? And then you just take that. And then if you don't mind, just swab like the inside of your cheek. Perfect, and then you just drop it right, right in there. What are you doing with this? Can I have it? Can I just? Are you gonna keep reaching towards me until I get Can I just, just get it a little bit? So, just... You're a tough one. <laughs> Dylan O'Brien, everybody. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. I hope you get it now, thanks. Yeah. Stay tuned. Putting all my cards on the table. All right, I got nothing. I got nothing on this case. I'll tell you what I want to know, though. Who messes up their lines the most out of the whole cast? I can't tell you that. That's rude. That's like me a snitch. How do I break you? That's fake. It's a fake gun. Well, then what are we doing here? You have nothing. We should go. Are these real? Those are real, yeah. Do you have the keys? Someone's got them. No, I need the keys. Well, grab your lamps and other things that have wish stuff about them, because it's time for Fan Wishes Granted. Today's wish comes from at Dylan O'Brien fan who asks, can we see a cast member host a part of the After After Show? I guess I'm not good enough for you. You're getting your wish. Welcome to the After After Show. I am Morgan Evans, and I will be interviewing Morgan Evans. Um, is that, is that right? Does that sound That's right? Exactly or do I right. say Tyler Posey? Mm -hmm. I like, I like, I want to be. You can say whatever you want. I like, uh, you know what? I'm going to be, I'm going to be you. I'm going to be you. My impulse is to kiss you. I mean, is that what you think I would do? <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I, my, that's my <laughs> so impulse. So you think I said Sorry, Tyler's just want to kiss everybody all that? Only me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Or oh. yourself. Only yourself. Oh, maybe Sorry. only me. Yeah. Okay, get, time for the interview. How do you push yourself to keep innovating within the rich, established world of the After After Show? I usually wait until the very last minute, and then I do it all in like two nights. Mm -hmm. How do you keep the bad man away? How oh, do you, I don't want to talk about the bad how man. How do you keep the bad no, man away? No, What are those other people I out there? I am not talking about the bad man. Okay. Margaret Thatcher, any thoughts? Uh, real hot. Jim Carrey from The Cable Guy, any thoughts? Uh, real hot. What is your favorite food? Hard pass. Well, that's it for us here at the Teen Wolf After After Show, because nothing lasts forever, and everything you love will leave you in the end. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, is that a penny? Well, there, that's it for us. I'm your host, Morgan Evans, and I see London, I see France. I must be on a semester abroad in Europe. Bye.